All right. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Silver Sneakers Flex Chair Yoga number 142 with Olivia. I'm Olivia, and this is my church home, North Presbyterian Church in Williamsville, New York. If this is your first time coming to class, welcome. I'm delighted you chose to come, and I hope you'll find it to be beneficial to your health and general well-being. If you've been here before, welcome back. Today I'm standing in front of our communion table. Many of you have asked about the colors in the sanctuary, and we did change the colors, and the reason is Sunday is Pentecost. And the Pentecost, uh, the color for Pentecost is red. So Religious Studies 101, Pentecost is when the disciples receive the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit, the dove, Holy Spirit symbol, and the Holy Spirit came to them in flames and wind. And of course, that's why it's red. Having said that, I'm going to flip this up, see the flames, so you can see me better when I'm sitting down on the ground. Okay. So, get your shoes off, get yourself in a comfortable chair, maybe some water to drink, and let's get started. Okay. All right. So come on out to, you know what? Let's sit back in the back, towards the back of the chair today. Because I want you to put your hand, one on your heart, and one on your belly. And in this position, you can really Sit back and relax a bit, all right? So we often talk about deep breathing and how important it is, but I'm going to remind you once again of some of those benefits of deep diaphragmatic breathing are. It's going to decrease your stress level. Go ahead and close your eyes and let this just kind of wash over you. It's going to increase your calm. help alleviate pain. Think of the times you hurt yourself and the first thing you do is take a deep breath in and exhale. It stimulates the lymphatic system and helps detoxify the body. It improves your immunity. We discussed that earlier in the COVID days. increases your energy. It's fresh, oxygenated blood to the body. It lowers your blood pressure with, it, with that sense of calm. It improves digestion. Fresh blood to the systems, to the, or to the organ systems. And it also helps support correct posture. So just let all those kind of swirl around in your head. Think which one of those do you really need today? And take those deep breaths in. And grateful that you can. Feel the belly move as the diaphragm pushes down on it. Feel the chest lift as the lungs fill. Let's take a deep breath in and hold for two counts. One, two, and then a long, slow exhale. Do it again. Inhale deep. Hold it. One, two, exhale long. One last. Inhale deep. The deepest one. Hold your breath. One, two, long, slow. Exhale. All right. Open your eyes. 
Let's scooch out to the end of the chair. So your sit bones are right there at the end of the seat. Head over heart over pelvis. Hands are pressing down onto the thighs. Let the shoulders draw back just a wee bit and lift the heart. Yeah. And then it, I have to look up a bit because the camera is up there. And I want you just to draw the chin inward and downward. And that's going to lengthen the back of the neck there. So instead of like this, we sit up tall and we tuck the chin. All right. One more deep breath in. And then tipping the head over, chin towards your chest, come over on the other side and all the way back up. And let's go the other way. Same thing. Over, around, and down. And be careful not to let that neck fall or head fall back. It is heavy. <laughs> but that's the reason we do these exercises to get, keep strength in the neck using working those tendons that hold the head upright. And, again. and one more. All right, now with your nose, you know what the figure eight symbol looks like? We used to call it the infinity signal, yeah, a, a symbol, Google, yeah. Let's do that with the nose right in front. So tip the head side to side. It's like you're drawing a circle or an infinity symbol right in front of yourself there. And again. One more. And then come back to the center. Lift the chin. Look skyward. Notice how the shoulders are going to come back, lifting from the heart. And then from here, we're going to slide forward. Scoop the belly round the spine, drop the chin. And again, come right back up. Lift the heart, elbows back, lift the chin. Exhale, slide the hands forward, scoop the belly. A little dome in the upper body there. And again, forward and back. Moving with intention, always. Remember, movement is medicine. body thrives on movement and the mind thrives on stillness let's cross the arms in front and open them up and boy has our culture got that switched so we have to counteract act what the norm is these days one more time if this is too much on the shoulders then by all means take it smaller and if I haven't said and I haven't said it yet find what feels good in your body, you do you today. Take the arms all the way out, palms to the ceiling and thumbs back, and then let the thumbs pulse back. Four, three, two, one. Scoop them up, bring the hands back to the heart. Round the spine, open thumbs to the back. We do it again, pulse. Four, three, two, one. One. Now from here, scoop up. Hands back to the heart. Press forward, round that upper body, and one more time. Pulse. Four, three, two, one. Reaching up and down and press forward. All right. Release the hands down. Come into that seated mountain pose. Head over heart over pelvis. Now pay attention to where you are in the sit bones. You can roll to the front and roll to the back. So this is a pelvic tilt. We're going to do this when we're standing, but right now go ahead and do this. So roll to the tip of the sit bones. I'm sorry, the front of the sit bones. Then you'll find the tip, and then you'll scoop and roll towards the back of the sit bones, maybe even the tailbone. So roll right back up and forward. Scoop the belly. Roll back underneath. And again, sit up tall and come forward and roll back. Let's roll. sit up nice and tall, head over heart over pelvis, take the feet wide, and we're going to roll around. <sighs> Breathing deep. Remember in yoga we breathe in through the nose and out through the nose. If you ever feel like you need to just let go, then certainly in through the nose, take a 
Ah, a sigh is fine. Let's go the other way, same thing. And again. One more time. All right, come all the way back to the top. Walk your feet in a bit. Left hand, uh, right hand on the thigh. We're going to lift that left arm up and over. And then release, come back to the other side, same thing. So we are just going to sort of float through this now. All right. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, pass through the center. Exhale. So you find that part in your spine where this is happening, all right? And it's right at the base of the rib cage there. So just be aware of that. That's where we're the most flexible in our spine, although we want to work at keeping all of it very flexible. And again. All right, now we're going to go side to side. Same part of the spine is moving here. Keeping it very flexible again. Moving. It's like I'm washing the wall right in front of me. Again. One more time. Let's leave that left hand there, followed by the right. Deep breath in. Heal the hand. I have an itch. Sorry. Heal the hand. <laughs> Fingertips together. And now we're going to forward fold. So hinge forward a little bit. Hands alongside of the legs. Now from here, inhale, halfway rise. Let the heart move forward before you come back up. Hands on the thighs. Release the head. Look underneath your seat. Now pull that navel into the spine. You're going to lift the rib cage from away from the thigh muscles and roll the spine back up nice and tall. All right, let's do it again. Deep breath. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway rise. Hands come to the thighs. Release back down. Scoop the belly. Push the tailbone back towards the mat or chair and roll back up. I'm getting my words all mixed up. I know, Donna, you commented on that. <laughs> and you understand. Forward fold. Halfway rise. Hands on the thigh muscles. Release back down. Scoop in the belly. Now you're going to push that tailbone back towards the ground. Use the hands. Push and roll the spine back up. One vertebrae at a time. We roll it right back up. Head over heart over pelvis. Lift up on that right foot. And go ahead and roll back onto the fleshy part of your seat here, circling the ankle. And then extend the leg out. Come up nice and tall. Scoop the belly. Roll back. So you know what they mean when I say come to the front, the tip of the sit bones, and then roll back. And again, forward and back. You want to put the foot on the ground, that's fine. You want to keep it up high, that's okay too. And one more time. All right, this time bring it in and let's put the knee wherever you're comfortable there with um, the heel, um, with the heel. It's like you're scratching your shin with your heel. So coming up and down, working in that inner thigh a little bit. And one more. All right, and we go to the other side. So we're gonna lift the leg and roll back onto the fleshy part of the seat. I'll circle in the ankle so that tailbone's tucked underneath you. Your belly is still pulled in. Always, always, all right. Okay, so here we go. Deep breath in, exhale. Roll up nice and tall, head over heart over pelvis. Scoop and round back. Bring the forehead towards the knee if that feels good to you. Inhale, exhale, scoop. Again, inhale. Exhale, scoop. Two more. Exhale, bring it in. Drop that forehead really round that spine and stretch across the back as you do that. Okay, so now heel goes on the shin and up and down the leg. Again. Two more. Last one. All right, very good. And then feet. Underneath, you may want to scoot them back. Be sure you're at the edge of the seat because we're going to stand up and it'll be easier for you. Deep breath in, hands to the heart. Take another deep breath. On an exhale, we lift up. All right. Now, how did you come up? Did the knees sort of buckle in? If you have to use a chair, that's fine. But I really want you to concentrate on keeping the knees straight ahead. So let's go back to the chair all the way down. You should be sitting on the edge. Take a deep breath in fire on the legs and keep them steady 
as you rise up, okay? Let's take some squats. So bring your feet, I'm gonna say hip distance apart. Normally I would say underneath, but I'm gonna give you a little more room. So keep them hip distance apart today. And these are squats. We also might call these chair pose, moving chair, okay? So deep breath in, exhale. Send that tailbone back. So the knees are not coming that far forward, the hips are going back. You know, you have to imagine you're gonna sit in that seat and if you bring the knees forward, you'll never find the seat, right? So let's add some arms. Come up nice and tall. Exhale, sweep. Good morning, legs. Mm -hmm. And again, if you missed our walk yesterday, I hope you got out to walk because it was gorgeous. And it's going to be gorgeous for a few more days here. And again. And one more time. all the way back up. All right, let's walk around to the back of the chair. Take a little shake out. Oh, grab a drink of water if you have one. I said get water and I forgot mine today. Okay. Hands on the chair. Fingers extended out. We step back into downward facing dog. So feet come underneath the hips. Hollow your belly. Soften your knees. So pull that navel right towards the spine and point that tailbone towards the back wall. And then in this position, we're going to take that same pelvic tilt. So tip the pel the hip bones on towards the thigh muscles. And then tuck the tailbone down underneath you like a dog that just got scolded, right? And then again, tip the pelvis forward. Oh, you feel that great length in the hamstring muscles. And then scoop the belly and tuck it underneath. You need to watch me. I'll take it right here so you can see this. It's a subtle movement. And again, one more time. All right. And then stepping into the chair, we're going to take this, just a pelvic tilt. So I'm going to take my feet a little bit wider. I'm going to sink into my knees just a little bit. I'm going to do the same thing I just did from downward facing dog. I'm going to, I'll move. I'm going to tuck the tailbone underneath me, and then I'm going to tip the pelvis forward from the side. Tuck it underneath, use the chair if you need it, and then tip the pelvis forward. Right? So we get a little flexibility in that low back now. Yeah. Stretching the hamstrings, stretching the quadricep muscles. Awesome. And then from here, Come back to that neutral spine, which is going to be just in the middle from this posterior tilt and anterior tilt, and then right smack in the middle. And then let's just take the hip side to side. Yeah. So if nobody's around, really let her go. <laughs> and again. Two more. Just as the music gets kind of funky, huh? All right. All right, so let's step the feet out wide, or we're going to keep some movement today in, the, in, the, um, in this class. All right, so feet are wide. I want you to sink into your knees, and now we're going to go side to side here, out and back in. I'm going to move this over so you can really see, because I'm going to change this up in a minute. Out and back in, and again, out and back in. Out, let's drop that right hand, bring it right back up, and then drop the left hand and then drop the right hand, and the left, and the right. One more time, and both hands come back, and you step back in, all right? So we're going to inhale, lift, exhale, push. Inhale, lift, exhale, push. Inhale, lift, exhale, push. Inhale, lift. Maybe tap the foot now instead of putting the foot down. And if you really find balance, let it lift. You have that chair handy. And one more time. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Maybe let that foot leave the earth for a moment. Nice and tall. Show me how tall you are. And then release. Let's take the other side. Same thing. So we're going to press out and come back. And again, press out. You can even lift up from the bottom here. Yeah. Pressing out. So I'm going to start to lighten up on my left toe here. 
maybe the ball of the foot on the ground. And again, push out, maybe up a little higher. Use your chair, keep, uh, keep one hand on the chair. You are still working on balance, even if you've got the chair. And let's take one more time. Out, come right back in, and settle down. So sink into the knees. Lift up from the elbows like you're dripping water. And then exhale, wash the wall. Shoulders are back, and I have a little bend in my knees as I come down. Now let's just stay here and take a focus to breath. Remember, it's very calming. Decrease your stress. Get that perfect posture going. Bend down. All right, turn the toes out sink into the knees and hands to the heart. We got a lot of little movement here today. And I don't know why I just felt like I needed to do this today. My right hand is going to press forward and my left elbow is going to draw back and turn the gaze. Inhale, come back to the center. Exhale, we push and pull. Belly in. Inhale, come back to the center. So what I'm hoping this is keeping those hips from turning. Okay. Inhale back. Exhale. Turn the gaze if you can. Inhale. Exhale. I'm so glad you found the time to join me today for your practice. I like to think that I'm here with a number of people. Soon we will be back. All right, let's come into beautiful star pose, reaching the arms out. Now, let's first concentrate on the feet. So pressing the feet, even the toes, into the ground. Instead of locking the knees out, you want to keep just an ever so slight bend. Draw the tailbone downward towards the ground, not completely under you, just downward. Belly comes in. You're going to connect the ribs to the hips and drop the shoulders, but lengthen through the fingers. Yeah, stretch them out. It's like they've got little flames on the end of them. It's Pentecost. And then bring the hands together and step the feet back in because I want you to push away from the chair a little bit if you're too far. And we're going to take our sunflowers again. So feet back out, arms up. Here we go from star pose. Exhale. Inhale. Out from the side looks like this. Exhale. I'm going to cross my arms, maybe touch the shoulders and inhale. Be sure you don't let the heart fall below the hips but you are bending your knees, okay? That's how you keep that from happening. So take this as deep as you can, bend your knees. If you need the chair, get to it, that's fine. And one more time. All the way back up, deep breath in, bring the hands back to the heart. Let's take time and walk the feet in, toe, heel, toe, heel. All right, get yourself a drink of water. and come on back. Standing behind the chair in mountain pose. Now I'm gonna look down at my toes. My heels are underneath my sit bones. The tailbone gra uh, draws downward. My belly comes in. My chest lifts a little more. So the shoulder heads draw back a little more. And I'm gonna begin to rotate the elbows inward towards, my so towards the side of my body. Little micro bend in the knees so you just don't lock them out. It's not big. And then keep the chin tuck so the back of the neck gets really long. You know, if you were going to go up against a wall and somebody said, how tall are you? Well, you wouldn't stand like this. You'd stand like this. And then you'd even drop the chin a little bit, yeah, to get yourself as tall as you can. So do that. Again, breathe in that deep, deep breath. Arms up, hands back to the heart. Rise up onto the right toe and let the heel leave the earth. And then we're going to transfer the weight. Lighten up on the toes and let the foot leave using the chair if you need it. And we're going to shoot it back to warrior one. So hinge at the hip, curl the heel, send it back. Toe, ball, heel down. That toe has turned out. 
That front knee is over the ankle and the back leg is straight and up we go. Rising up. Watch the shoulders don't rise up. We're gonna stay down. I feel like I need to get this chair out of the way more times than not. Rising up, lifting the heart. And then from here, rotate the palms out and imagine the elbows were gonna touch your tailbone. So they're gonna come in and press down. The heart's gonna move forward even more. Beautiful. Dropping the hands down like you're gonna hold a beach ball right there on your backside. So from the crown of the head to the heel, I have a nice straight line and then stretch the fingers down. Beautiful. All right, from here, left hand on the chair. Windmill that right arm all the way around and we come into our warrior two. So you'll have to spend time and resituate your feet there a little bit, I think, as you look to the right wall. And then turn the gaze back, look and be sure the toe is, or the knee is tracking in the direction of the toe. And then let that arm float forward towards your device right over the chair. Fingers are splayed out. Yeah, tailbone drawing to the ground. You have head over heart over pelvis. And then palm to the ceiling, lifting up into reverse. If you need the chair, just take the gaze up, lift the heart. That right arm has fallen to the thigh or it's tucked into your back pocket there. My nose is very itchy today, <laughs> if you haven't noticed. We're reaching out. And breathe. Take that deep breath, stay focused, stay with that. All right, we come back to that warrior two. And now what I want you to do is drop the hand to the chair. So you're gonna straighten that front leg Actually, you can reach forward here. We're going to come into triangle pose. So either reach or drop the hand, but my front leg straightens. That back arm floats skyward. And if this, of course, is too much for you, go ahead and drop the hand. Notice my legs are straight up, but they're not locked, right? I'm pushing my hips towards the back wall just a wee bit. And then let the hips push forward and let the shoulders draw back ever so slightly. So imagine I put you between two panes of glass, all right? And you can use the chair or release the hand down. Breathing deep. All right, let's drop that hand. Both of them come to the chair. Lift up on that back heel now. It's like you're gonna push that grocery cart or lawnmower, all right? Keeping the elbows tucked into the body. We're going to lift that back toe from the ground and keep the elbows tucked in. Now, deepen this if you'd like. Let the heart come forward, forward, forward as that back heel lifts, lifts, lifts. Toe facing the ground. It's going to want to roll out. Keep it facing the ground. Doesn't have to be far. And then standing up tall. Nice deep breath in. And back down. All right, a little shake out. And we'll move to the other side. Now, that was warrior one, warrior two, triangle pose. And then we got into warrior three. All right. Other side. Releasing the fingers down to the side. Come. And just imagine yourself with that beautiful warrior one, warrior proud, proud warrior one. Heart is lifted, mood is lifted. And then into a little more serious warrior two. Intense. And then into triangle pose. Another sort of letting go, I think. And then to a, into a more intense warrior three. So we sort of go back and forth here. All right. So transfer the weight to the right foot. Let that left heel leave the earth. Keep your chair handy. Lifting it whenever you're ready. Maybe even try to balance. Now curl the heel in. Sink into this. Hinge at the hip. And shoot it back. Toe, ball, heel. This knee stays over the ankle. Back leg comes straight. And we circle the arms up proud da da moment breathing and then 
here we go. We're going to turn the palms out and imagine they are going to touch your tailbone there as you bring the heart forward. Lifting. All right, now circle into that um, beach ball right on your tailbone and slide it down. So feel that nice long neck. And again, we do that taking a little tuck in the chin, belly in. And then right hand goes to the chair. In this position, circle that left arm. Reach forward to me and big, big windmill around. Knee over the ankle. Readjust your feet. Warrior two. A little more intense, a little more serious posture, <laughs> I feel like. You're looking over those two peace fingers in front, and you mean business, right? Drop the shoulders. Ground through the feet. Press them down. Gosh, feel the legs get strong when you do that. Belly in. Palm to the ceiling. Let's lift up. And if you need that chair, just take the gaze skyward. We're lifting. That back hand slides down your leg, or it also could slide into your back right pocket. So a little bit of a bind opens the chest even more. So take another deep breath. Increase your energy. Now, see if we can hit that warrior two once again. Arms parallel to the ground. Strong legs. Perfect. Let that hand rest. No, I think I said we're going to reach forward, right? Going to reach forward over that chair and then begin to windmill, push the hips back. Now it can find the chair as we come into our triangle pose. I feel like it's kind of another ta-da moment as well. So both legs are straight. And my hips have pushed back. I have a little bit of a bend in this knee. It's not going to lock out ever. And then maybe the hand floats downward. It's up to you. Turn the, turn the gaze if you can. And one more breath. All right. Both hands are going to find the chair. That back heel. Here's where you might look like you're pushing on the lawnmower, all right? Warrior three. The elbows are going to tuck in next to the body, so you're going to come right between the elbows. Lift that back foot. Let the heart come forward always. And then lift, and I say lift that back leg a little bit more because when you do that, I know you're going to use the glutes and the hamstrings, and that's what we work on here. Bring the belly in. Be sure the heart's coming right over the chair, almost right between your hands there. Hang on for one more breath. And then slowly come away, both feet together. Nice and tall, take a deep breath. Forward fold, step away from the chair. And here's that halfway rise. Heart comes forward. This time we're going to do what we did when we were seated. We're going to put the hands on the thighs, release, bend the knees, release the head, look back towards the knees, and scoop the belly round and roll back up. Shoulders are up, around, and down. Let's do it one more time, much more smoother. Deep breath in. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway rise. Heart comes forward. Hands to the thighs, bend the knees, scoop the belly, and round back up. That was an awful lot of chatter. <laughs> I hope you got that. Let's do it one more time. Deep breath. Forward fold. Halfway rise. Hands on the thighs, bend the knees, scoop, push into the thighs, and round back up. Shoulders up, around, and down. All right. Very, very nice. Let's come to the chair, or get a drink of water first. I have to check my time here. All right, we're doing great. Okay, so we balance. We should come around to the right side of the chair. And let's put that right foot in front. And I'm going to give you choices here. We're going to lift and lower that leg. All right? And then eventually what I want you to do is lift it and then just extend it out a little bit. So there's no lowering to the ground. But there's keeping head over heart over pelvis working that supporting leg. You've got just a little micro bend in it there, right? Always. 
lift, a little bit of a lower. Again, two more. That's not what I want to do. Sorry. I want to get through that song. Okay. And hold it. There we go. Okay, now I'm just going to let my hand slide underneath. I'm not going to support it, but just going to slide underneath. And then let it move out towards the corner of your room ever so slightly. You decide. You really have to hold on in this supporting leg, maybe a little bit more. Keeping the foot flex will help just a little bit here. Now, nice and tall, and should you find balance, bring that foot to the front. We're going to shoot it back. Toe ball heel down, straight legs on both of them. And now I'm going to hinge forward, let my left right fingers reach back looking towards the ground. We work at bringing that upper body parallel to the ground. Bending that front knee as much as you need to. This is pyramid pose. Yep. And then I'm going to use the chair right here and forward fold a little bit deeper, but entirely up to you. You want to turn the chair in, rest the elbows, whatever you'd like. Come into this forward fold. We also call it forehead to knee pose. You may not be able to get there. You may only be able to stay up higher but I'm working on a real good stretch in the back of that front leg. Now here's another interesting way to look at this. So listen to my direction. I want you to pull back on the left hip crease and pull forward on the right hip bone. And that way you level out the pelvis and get an even deeper stretch. All right, so let's come around to the side of the chair and come into downward facing dog. Hands on the chair, bend the knees. You need the hands up higher, that's okay. Hollow your belly. Ah, oh, nice, nice stretch. Walk into the chair. Let's take a little cat and cow. Hands on the chair there, heart forward. And exhale, round the spine. Two more. Heart forward. And again, there's that pelvic tilt that we started with, tailbone up, tailbone underneath you. And then get yourself back up and we get to the other side. So we've gone from, it's my version of standing big toe pose, which really looks like this, but we're not gonna do that. We're gonna take standing grab behind knee pose and then into pyramid pose. Okay. So behind the chair, it's always handy. We'll turn that seat in when we need it and take that left foot in front and just let it leave the earth and lifting and lowered. So we work on a little strength in that front leg and then come to the point where you can just lift it and then keep it off the ground. So you start to balance, which means you gotta fire on those core muscles, fire on the glutes, which believe it or not are actually a help posture and then also the head. <laughs> your, me your mind is saying, I got this. It's not saying, whoa, I'm gonna fall. Okay, we hold it up, enough. I'm just gonna rest my fingers and guide my leg off to the corner. And then maybe deeper, you decide how deep you wanna take this without leading away, keeping head over heart over pelvis. And then maybe find some balance. Again, the foot can be on the ground. One more breath. Back in, and here we go. Hinge, send it back, toe ball heel. So my legs are straight. I've caught you in the middle of a walking step. I'm gonna turn that foot in, send the left fingers back, and hinge forward. I mean, turn the chair in. And then bringing that upper body maybe parallel to the ground, that front knee is bent. Breathe. Lifting the knuckles behind you to the ceiling. Now watch, we haven't come forward and the arms are way up. We're truly, the upper body just comes parallel. And then if we want to take this deeper, go ahead and bring that chair in. You can take the hands on the chair. Come into that forward fold, maybe to the elbows, whatever you choose, forehead to knee pose. In this position, your head has fallen a little below your heart, so be careful, don't get dizzy. 
And here's the next piece. So listen to my instruction. I want you to pull back on the right hip crease and let that left hip bone come forward so that pelvis gets parallel to the ground and then forward fold and you'll really feel an intense stretch. All right, coming back up, let's get around to the side of the chair and take that downward facing dog again. Tip the pelvis forward. Your leg should feel about the same now. You've got a nice even stretch going on. And then look to the chair, step into it. And hands on the thighs, tuck the tailbone and round back up. All right, deep breath in. And exhale back down. All right, let's come back to the seat and sit back down. Um, those um, hamstring stretches were for you, Mary Beth. And if there's anything that uh, you all feel like you'd like to work on, you'd like to see me stretch a little bit more, please let me know. I'm happy to do that. Mary Beth doesn't know, but I heard her say that on the walk yesterday. Okay, so out to the edge of your seat. Let's lift up on that right leg and you can hold underneath the spine or on the outside, but I want you to sit up nice and tall, right? And then pulling that knee up, oh, maybe even underneath, pulling that knee up a little more towards the shoulder comes into what I would say, hmm, my version of seated half baby pose. Can you find the shin? Can you stay here? Can you find the outside edge? All right, and then we're gonna cross this leg over. You know, if you've had hip trouble, hip replacement, knee trouble, you have probably been told not to cross the midline. So just be careful there. I'm gonna put my, right, my left knee over my left ankle here. And you can always hold up on this if this feels better to you. Or I'll hold the outside edge and maybe extend that leg out a little bit deeper. Find your comfort zone. And today we're going to add a twist to it. So with a tall spine, inhale, exhale. We add this rotation. Start in the hips, the ribs, the shoulders, the head, and then add the hands for ever so slight support. So I'm not going to use them to crank around. I'm just using them to sort of hold myself here. Mostly I'm using my core muscles. All right, let's come on back to the front. Extend that leg out and to the ground. Hands on the chair behind you. Now, I'm going to walk my right foot, or left foot underneath me just a little bit more and press into the heel of my hands, opening the chest, draw the shoulders together, and you'll feel yourself lift up ever so slightly on the glutes, keeping the chin tucked as you look skyward. You have some shoulder trouble, neck trouble, be careful. It's a nice reverse plank. All right, and release. Okay, other side. Up comes that leg. It's going to draw up towards the shoulder. You can grab in front. You could grab here, but get a nice stretch. And when I mean this stretch, is going to happen from the low back all the way into the hamstring muscles there. All right? Nice and tall. Or here. Nice. Okay, and then bringing that ankle over. Again, put it on the ground if you've been told not to take that foot across your midline yet. And you can always hold it up here and support it. That's fine. Just sit up nice and tall when you do. Or let it release. And a little pressure opens up that hip. All right. So we add that rotation in the hips, nice and tall. Start in the hips, the ribs, the shoulders, the chin, and just let the arms rest wherever they land. Continue that rotation in the spine if you'd like. Continue making that spine nice and tall as you breathe. And as you exhale, you might even find a little more twist. One more. All right, we slowly return to the front. Very nice. All right, let's take that leg out in front, heel on the ground, hands on the back of the chair. Press into the heel of the hands. 
maybe lighten up, drop the, tuck the chin, squeeze the shoulder blades. Both feet on the ground, deep breath. Exhale, forward fold. Now what I want you to do here, place the hands on the thighs, tuck the chin as if you were looking underneath the chair, Bring your navel in towards your spine. Shake your head a little yes. And then push back towards the tailbone. Use the thigh muscles. Use the hands to do that. And we roll the spine right back up. So last minute we get a little inversion in. And walk back to the back of your seat. Slide that pelvis back towards the back. Maybe one last stretch, whatever you need. And then we settle in for a few moments of some more deep breath. And as you take that deep breath in, remember all those benefits. Decreases your stress, increases your calm. Relieves pain. And stimulates the lymphatic system to help detoxify. Improves your immunity. Increases your energy. Lowers your blood pressure. Improves digestion. and helps improve, support, correct posture. So take whatever you need from that mantra and breathe it in deep. And I ask you now to breathe in a little sense of joy. Let the corners of your mouth draw back and a little bit of a smile. Wiggle your fingers and your toes. Let's bring the hands together. Big wide smile now. Eyes open. For where there is joy, there are many miracles always. Remembering a heart of peace shall give life to the whole body. Namaste, my friends. Have a wonderful Wednesday, wonderful finish to your week. I'll see you tomorrow for Pilates. If you'd like the Zoom link, get in touch with me. And you are always welcome to join us here on worship. Uh, this Sunday is Pentecost. It's always a fun worship. We are going to uh, confirm a couple of kids this Sunday. And I would love to know that you were there. You will use the same link for worship as you do for this link here. Thanks again, everyone. Have a great day.